So dear Dhamma friends, today we are going to, to understand about resistance. So the resistance is something unrest us. When you have a resistance, the very nature of it, it always make us unrest. Not only us, that the other part of also make it unrest. So what is resistance? How the resistance happens? The resistance happen in three ways, bodily, verbally, and mentally. The most strongest resistance is mental resistance. So what is the resistance? When you have an idea regarding something, and another person also have an idea. If the, the your idea is different from the other person's idea, or the opinion, when you have opinion regarding something, and another person have different opinion, in between these two come together, the resistance happens. When you have an opinion, when you have an opinion regarding something. And another person having opinion regarding the same thing and that opinion is different than your opinion or the idea and that is where the resistance happen. So this then you can apply to body. So you have a bodily action regarding something and another person having a bodily action regarding the same object in a different way and then the bodily that you are the actions going to become resist and then what is happening unrest going to arise so the verbally the same you have an idea you try to explain or express your idea through verbal regarding something and then another person having a, the the different kind of ideas regarding the same object and then the verbal resistance happen that's in a, its arguments so the mental is the same so the mental resistance is so stronger than you think the bodily or verbally action why because that mental resistance and develop the proliferation and the and the develop the current inside you with your own thoughts and then it has power to become bigger stronger than other two actions so then when we give the opinions regarding something when we have the the idea regarding something something how the resistance can happen? Why this resistance like this, this unbalance come? Why this one person have a different idea and why another person having a different idea regarding something? How this can happen? So the very important thing, when it come to, as example, that just regarding this pain, Maybe why the another person having different idea regarding this pain and I going to give a different idea. So the, the very important thing, what the first thing that you have to understand, we all have a personal experience. So when our ideas or the when our opinions based with our personal experience, it always going to be different. Why? My personal experience not going to be the same like your personal experience. And according to the time, space, and the matter, then according to three categories, we all going to be different. So then, how that we can come to a idea or opinion without resistance. 
when you and I able to observe this without our personal experience or without our past experience or without our thoughts, you and me able to experience this pain as the same way. So how are we going to be different? When our opinion, so when our idea, when our past experience interfere with our present experience, present moment, and that is where we both going to be different. That is where the resistance happen. So it happened bodily, with the bodily action, it can happen. With the verbal action, with it can happen. With the mental action, it can happen. So that is what you see every day in everywhere. And we are more attached to our personal experience. And when it comes to conversation, if you able to, listen this very carefully. When you come to a conversation, or when you come to an action, if you able to listen or see, do anything without your past experience, with your fully awareness, with your 100% availability, not holding yourself half, with your hundred percent, that called present, being present to yourself in the moment, you are available with the open mind, hundred percent, and with the very clear mind. In that mind, there is no any single thought related with your past experience. If you able to hear or listen to somebody or something. there is no resistance going to happen within yourself. When there is no resistance, there is no unbalance in you. When there is no resistance, there is no restlessness in you. So, because that resistance itself take you out of the, the balance. When you go out of the balance itself, that when you go out of the balance with that unbalance, you again go to the same thing. Again go to the uh, same thing. Then what is happening again and again, again and again, you, you go with it. So I learned this first when I practice Aikido. Because in the Aikido is the one of the one of the great martial art. If you are able to practice in, in your life, or if you are able to teach your children one day, try to try to teach them. And it is one of the best martial art that they carry this quality. No resistance, just receive. And when you are able to receive without holding anything, you find the balance. When you are balanced, you are strong. But we think we hold it to our, our things, we are going to be strong. No, we, it makes us unbalanced. And that finding balance with be, being empty is a different method. And sometimes if you try to try to think about it, it make you crazy sometimes. It is very difficult to understand how it is possible. Why? Because we cultured, we, we brainwashed, we learned the, the, the different way. That's why we say, if somebody hit, you have to hit. And somebody, if somebody blame, you blame. That's, so that's how we, we live. But uh, receiving is a different art. Even any the, the deeper religions, if you look at the different other religions 
and they also teach about this very deeply even in the bible that's why when you, when somebody hit you you available for the the person more and more you're not going to resist because that availability make you strong and that when you become stronger with that availability and you able to to overcome the the situation that overcome is completely different overtaking remember that so when we have the resistance idea or rest that the restlessness we always try to overtake but overcome is it happening within ourselves it is not a, not about anybody so when you try to overtake it's always related with the something or somebody outside but here we overcome means we overcome our own restlessness our own unbalance so the art of come out of the this resistance is the the very first thing that's why even in the five hindrances the second one that when you don't have the anger so you don't have the resistance so why because in the first level you drop the desire so desire when you drop the desire you become neutral and that in that neutral moment you are available for any direction but if you hold it to the idea or action or opinion or something anything if you hold it to that and you don't see you become very limited to that that when you become very limited itself you are weak that weakness you don't see and that weakness the weakness never can take you to to strong the weakness always rebuild the weakness so the if you find little balance the balance has no nature take you to weakness the balance always take you to to balance but the thing is with the culture with the history even with our own experience when something happen when when we hear something when we try to do something we listen this very carefully and then study yourself you have a imprint idea regarding something that imprint idea it can happen to anybody and it can happen in regarding your own and it you have a imprint idea already it it like a blueprint that idea about the the thought about your wife your husband your children your parents and all the 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 material things that you have at your home you have imprint idea regarding that and that idea is so personal to you just imagine it any even regarding the tv regarding the 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 chair so then uh, regarding the remote you have a imprint your personal idea so then at home when everybody trying to watch tv what is happening you bring your imprint idea regarding tv then other person also bring the imprint idea regarding the thing so that both depending from the the past experience the both not going to be in the present so that is where the resistance happen and that resistance has power to accumulate the the restlessness the restlessness little by little little by little little by little you accumulate it like garbage it like dust look you clean today your home your house and everything and within another 
one week, see everywhere how the dust collect. The same thing happening. When you unrest, when you unbalance, when you unhappy, it it collect dust inside you. That that unhappiness going to be within yourself little by little, little by little, it accumulate. It happened to the other side also. It can happen to good also. It all they both the mental formations, both sanskara. So the, the both related with the thought. There is nothing else, just the thought, but it again and again, again and again going to happen. So then yourself. Remember, whenever if you want to come out of the the resistance, the very first thing that you have to do, be available 100% with the clear mind. And that availability will able to, to listen or hear or accept the other person action. In that acceptance, because other person may be related with the, the past experience, but you are in the present, very present moment, very fresh new person you. In that very in that very acceptance and the deeper, you overcome that you are where you are very being. And that overcome that moment, it's kind of exactly the same like in the vipassana level of the, the observing deeply the overcome and recognizing the five hindrance and right away you get out of the hindrance and then there is no any kind of arguments and any kind of that uh, conflict in between actions how peaceful it is how profitable it is that doesn't mean you're going to lose because we have idea, oh, then we're going to lose. You already won. It's not a winning like, a, it is not like a winning over somebody. It is you, you overtake in the, because look at the world, who can win? Who won the world that we had the first world war and second world war. And then we had many, many kind of wars in around the world. And look today, who won that any war? No one win with the heavy arm artilleries with with the heavy, you know that uh, that uh, the bombs and the machine guns, so nuclear bombs. People had wars in the world. Look today, who won? Nobody won. So then, how about with your husband, wife, children, or the friends or the neighbors? Do you think you're going to win with this? Just uh, arguments. Are you going to with this fight or just the, the struggling with the physical? For the moment, it's going to become a struggle. And but it, what is happening? Only you get this, this the unrest and unhappiness and unbalance within yourself. So it is better you're not going to go into it. When something happens, just release yourself and give the if whatever other person. Just, just give it, and that way you're going to you're going to learn something, and that that is why in the deeper level, in the physically, I used to practice this with the when I practice Aikido, and I I didn't have that much idea, but later, little by little, I understood. So if somebody asks, give me this pen, if I say take it, there's nothing. But I, if I start tell, no, 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 I'm not going to give it. This is my pain. Then what will happen? The situations come. We both go, may be going to lose the pain. And, the, and it going to completely become different environment later. But somebody come and say, give me this pain. And if I give this pain, that doesn't mean that person going to experience this pain having something doesn't mean that person going to have it remember that 
that what maybe you can claim it as yours look at the world today and even we have the our own human nature that becoming just a human doesn't mean you experience the beauty of the mind the same thing with this material world the having something doesn't mean that that person going to experience it if if there is a person is going to use this pen better than me of course somehow it is better that person have this pen but maybe i hold it with and maybe it related to me if somebody come and tell give me this pen without argument i going to give this pen maybe that person doesn't know about anything regarding this pen remember even for the moment he can hold this pen but this pen never going to be with that person physically maybe it not going to be with me in this very moment because other person come and took it but that doesn't mean i lose my pen so like that my dear friends always remember the learning this this art with the meditation and understanding deeper yourself is itself in this very moment giving you very peace balance harmony tranquility state as a person yourself to live and especially in day to day life with your husband wife children friends and family members brothers sisters when situations arise that is where you mostly get unrest so it is it should not happen so then remember yourself don't resist always release release let go accept things and be available to be empty don't claim regarding anything but that doesn't mean remember you not going to lose anything whatever deserve whatever belong to you it going to be with you so when you trust this art day by day you will see how much energy you can protect how much energy you can keep and use it for good things so remember this and day by day just practice just listening this doesn't mean you going to get it it is by practice you going to see how beautiful this art so with that i going to tell you a story and there was a village duck duck village all the ducks and the, this ducks every sunday go to church that eh from everywhere hundred hundred ducks this ducks and they they come and walking and uh, they have their own roads own the own path and they have their own church so eh, eh, oh, eh, the sunday morning it's so busy entire village eh, everybody all from uh, child to olders everybody come like uh, walking back 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 like that everywhere are the sound and then they go to church and then they have a duck priest very old and very religious and everybody have their own place they go to church and and also they have a duck bible and uh, so that day this sunday and they went to the church and the priest came duck priest and they he came and took the bible and start to uh, read that day the paragraph the creation of the duck and the the the, uh, the paragraph this 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 and the creation and the liberation and when the the duck dog uh, the 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 duck the manifest when their life start the god gave the power them to fly like eagles and they have power to fly to any direction in the sky and they have feathers independence and no one hold that no one claim and regarding their feathers that the no anyone can 
claim any authority. If whoever received the, the feathers, it belonged to them. And then the sky belonged to them. And the, any direction. And even that whatever the power have, like the eagles, and then the, the this all the ducks, similar, have powers to everybody. So the, the priest all the, start to read this, everything. And then end of the paragraph, and they say, and the, the, the God, after create this, the, this duck and gave freedom to, to go wherever and the way they want. And all the ducks, end up listening to that, and all the ducks said, Amen. And then, and walked to their places, same way they came. We human the same. And think about it yourself. And you will see something. So with that, I bless upon everyone. With this good practice, may all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patient, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabit yo vajjantu sabbaro ko vinasatu mate bavatantara yo suki diga yuko bava. Itta vata chami sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva numodam tu sabba sampati sidhya. Sabbe bhuta numodam tu sabba sampati sidhya. Sabbe sata numodam tu. Sabha Sampatthi Siddhiya Idhammi Punya Kammanga Savakkaya Vahangotu Sabha Dukkha Pamunchatu Bless you. Thank you very much everyone.